What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have something different for you guys. We're gonna show you guys a build that we're doing with Polaris. So if you guys don't know, you know, we're a graphics company. We primarily do wraps on a lot of UTVs, exotics and stuff like that. And we take you guys along the way. But in addition to all that stuff, we actually build cars, razors in specific with Polaris. So in the past, we've probably been doing this for about six years. We built some of the cars uh, that they've taken to shows and stuff show you guys here and they've taken the shows and had a lot of success and we built some really cool cars so we don't talk about it too much and don't showcase too much but players gave us opportunity to showcase this build so this car as you guys know the polaris pro r has a four cylinder motor if you guys aren't familiar we'll show you guys some details here in a second but we get opportunity to show you guys what is capable with this machine with some pretty minimal add-ons uh, we're doing a vehicle wrap of course doing some wheels and tires, but nothing crazy. Uh, we're utilizing stock cage, powder coating a lot of the components, but this out of the box is pretty phenomenal. The stuff that's been done to it suspension wise, a lot of the creature comforts and stuff too on the steering wheel, that kind of stuff is really cool that Polaris has put on. So we're gonna take you guys here along the way, showcase some of that stuff, showcase how we're removing it, a little bit of the build process. This is a car here behind me. So as you can see, it's a pretty much bone stock Pro R. Razor. So this has that four cylinder motor I was talking about. If you guys are not familiar with this, players really outdid themselves with this motor. Um, all the components that utilize and help drive this motor and have the drivetrain that it does. If you look down here, all this stuff's really beefy. There's a lot of details and stuff online that people have talked about, but I mean, how they have a cool side, a hot side, so it's easy to change oil, check the oil, all that kind of stuff. But as you know, Polaris is always thinking outside the box and trying to be the best because they are the best. So uh, they're showcasing a lot of this stuff here on this vehicle that have really stepped up the game in UTVs just across the board. So it's exciting to see where this industry goes because I mean, every year all the companies are really stepping it up. Polaris has always been on top and we're happy to be a part of their program and always have a cool build too. So they give us a really cool platform to start off on and we just take it and put our touches on it and make it unique, make it personalized, make it a show car. So let's take you guys here along the way for the build. We'll throw a little montage in here and we'll get started on breaking this car down. Show you some teasers of what it's gonna look like and a little bit of the build process like I mentioned. So if you guys have any suggestions, give some feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Let's uh, showcase some of this stuff here. So let's talk about some specific things that we're gonna be doing here. So I mentioned kind of some bolt-on stuff. So kind of walk through the areas that we're gonna do because I want you guys to see a before and after. And like I said, kind of minimal, but it's really gonna make a visual difference on how it looks. So let's go over some stuff. So let's look at some things here. So these here are the stock Polaris doors. So this comes standard on their vehicle, especially the Pro-R. Uh, some of the other models don't have this add-on piece too. So this is pretty standard. This whole car, like I mentioned before, is stock. So what we're gonna do is take these doors off and Pro Armor is providing us with their aluminum door set. So that's gonna be really cool. That'll change the look of it. And then we'll finish that off with a, with a wrap. So all this stuff here, if you're looking at the side of the car, all this stuff here from front to back, minus the doors is literally gonna stay as is. So what we're gonna do Aesthetically is wrap all this stuff. So that's gonna really change up the look um, And add to it. So as far as the side of the car That's all we're gonna be changing. We'll remove some of this stickers that come factory Wrap all that and that's pretty much the whole thing here on the side So moving on to the inside What we're gonna change in here is and this this has nothing to do with um, Safety or anything like that. We're trying to make car any better as far as that. We're literally doing it for styling and something cool, some make something different. So we're taking these seats out here. These are the all stock seats. So we're gonna be taking all these seats out, taking the harnesses out, replacing that stuff in the interior, uh, adding some door bags up in the corners on those doors that I mentioned for Pro Armor. So we'll have Pro Armor door bags going in here. 
that's gonna add a lot of uh, little storage and stuff in, in that section there. So roll cage, we're actually going to remove this stock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this, take everything off, and we're gonna powder coat it to match our theme. Like I mentioned, a lot of companies, a lot of people think you really gotta change up this car and add all these aftermarket parts to make it unique and different and personalized, which is true. And I agree that that does make a visual difference, but we wanna show you guys with minimal things and having the right components, it's really gonna change the look of it also. So moving on to the outside, all this stuff here. Suspension wise, I mean, this is really cool that players did. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but if you guys are watching this video, this is all new for the Pro-R. So the way they mounted this shock on the lower arm here and it goes through this front axle because these cars are four wheel drive, allows for more travel and they really beefed all this stuff up. So that's really cool. As far as what we're doing, we're gonna powder coat all these arms, powder coat the springs and change up that look of it too. So at least color wise, you know, it's really gonna go with our theme. Those components will remain as far as factory, so that'll utilize the suspension and the awesome, you know, engineering and stuff they did to make it this car what it is. So all that stuff will stay. One thing towards the outside and the front, since we're talking about the front, is everything as far as wheels and tires. So wheels and tires, as you know, will, I mean, really change up a vehicle. So it'll really make this car unique and personal so you can i mean you can have a basic car and put nice wheels and tires on it, it really changes the look so for this car we're going to be adding metal effects they're three piece forged wheels so we're putting a sand set on this car this car is actually going to be they making its debut out at coos bay here in a couple weeks so we have a i don't know are we doing this stuff for the build we have a really short timeline so Metal Effects is stepping it up and they're making a custom set of wheels that matches our color theme. So we'll add that with sand tires there. So that'll be on the outside, obviously front and back, we'll have a paddle set. So we'll have smoothies in the front and some paddles here in the rear, but matching wheels front and back. So same thing back here, all the suspensions can remain stock. We're just gonna color code it to match. So everything will match that new color scheme that we're doing for the whole car. So going from that, that kind of showcases the outside and then we'll uh, kind of polish up the inside with wrap and little minimal things and add a light bar up on top here. We'll wrap that roof, put a front bumper up here. We're gonna put a winch inside that front bumper. So if you guys, you know, need a winch, Polaris makes a really cool setup. So we'll showcase and show you guys that setup also. I mean, you can't be out in the elements looking cool without sounding cool. So Rockford Fosgate actually sent over a sub box that comes down in here, if you guys, are not familiar it sits up in here so this is the passenger side door that we open and this is comes factory the rocket fosgate stereo here but there's a sub box that goes up underneath and that is really going to change the sound as far as bass so me personally i mean a stereo and 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 everything could sound good but you need bass and that's my personal preference and uh, Rockford utilizes that whole setup. So to add that to the build and show you guys. Yeah, take you guys here along the way. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we're gonna do. Like I said, it's nothing crazy. We've done some really over the top builds. I mean, with the Pro XP, I mean, we chromed arms and all that stuff. We were the first, you know, people to do that kind of chroming the arms back in the day. And, and then, you know, we had a chrome wrap and all kinds of stuff. So we can do the over the top style build and we've done it in the past. and. I like to say we were one of the first, so. Yeah, so moving on to this, let's show you guys what we got going in store. I'm glad we went over it and uh, show you guys how we're doing it. So I wanna give you guys a little update where we are right now. We got a lot of stuff back from Powder Coat, which is looking really good, so if you guys look here, the stock arms put on metallic powder coat, which looks pretty cool. And then the uh, the lower arms have a little bit lighter blue. So some people refer to this as sky blue. And then some people talk, say that this is Polaris blue. Polaris is always changing their colors and stuff, even though the, the tones are, look similar, but they're, they're not the exact same blue. We deal with that on the graphic side all the time. Pretty cool. So let's walk around the back here. So the springs got all done springs are all in that Polaris blue and then we have sky blue down here but then we offset the colorways so sky blue here and Polaris blue on the uh, the rods going in that way it adds a little bit of flavor it doesn't just look like one solid color 
So same thing back here. Some players blue with the sky blue. Change it up. So we're making progress in the cage up here is all Polaris blue. So we're gonna put the roof on that. Obviously rapid of course too. So again, making some progress. Show you guys a little bit of a, a montage here and then keep going. So we still have a lot of work to do. We're about the week out. So this coming week gonna be down to the wire. So we got wrap, but we still have all the wiring and stuff to do. So we're just waiting on parts as usual because everything going on with the world today, we're just waiting for some stuff to show up. So. Uh, as we get boxes, as we get parts, we'll kind of continue. So we got some parts from Pro Armor, um, Pro Armor doors here. We got some bags from Pro Armor. Um, Metal Effects is making the custom wheels. Those should be coming this week. Um, then we're kind of just down to the wire, really. So we'll just keep making some progress and uh, show you guys a little bit as we go. And then uh, you guys can see this whole thing come together.